Hello my friends, I have already made a couple of videos about DJI Osmo Pocket and I have to say that the more I use it, the more I like it. Having said that, to get the most out of your DJI Osmo Pocket, you need to have the right accessories. So in this video we will take a look at some of the accessories that I really like to use with the Osmo Pocket and I will try to show you how you can use those in a creative way. Links to all of these items are in the description, so let's get right into it. We will start with the expansion kit. This is original DJI accessory pack which consists of the controller wheel, wireless module, accessory mount and 32GB SD card. The controller wheel is in my opinion one of the most useful Osmo Pocket accessories overall. It connects to the device using pins on the front side and the connection is very secure. The wheel controls the movement of the gimbal so it allows you to do smooth panning and tilting. You can switch between panning and tilting using the toggle. There are two more buttons on this wheel. The left one is for switching between modes and the right one is for entering selfie mode. You can also enter selfie mode by triple pressing the right button on the Osmo Pocket, so I wish that button would reset the gimbal position itself. The wheel itself is very precise, it has very good feedback, so you can achieve very smooth panning using the wheel. It is also very useful if you want to set up time-lapse waypoints only in horizontal or only in vertical axis. I am very happy with this controller wheel, I do a lot of panning, so for me personally it is a must-have. This advantage is that it cannot be stored in the original case, so if I don't want to take it off, I use this gimbal lock by Polar Pro, which protects the screen and the gimbal on Osmo Pocket. It just snaps in place, it has very nice rubberized surface and original design, so it is very useful for the Osmo Pocket with controller wheel. The wireless module lets you connect the Osmo Pocket to your smartphone using the Bluetooth, which is also useful in certain situations. Pairing process is simple and relatively fast, it gives you basically the same option as the connection with normal adapter. It works well if you just want to put or mount the Osmo Pocket somewhere and control it without touching the device, and it is especially useful for setting and monitoring time lapses. There is also USB-C input on the back of the module for charging, which is also great for long time lapses. It is rubberized on the bottom side, so it doesn't slide around. The fitment is very tight, so it definitely won't fall off. There is no quarter inch mount on the module, but that can be fixed with an accessory that I will show you later. Accessory mount lets you mount your Osmo Pocket to anything with GoPro mount. The fitment is very good and very secure. It attaches to expansion port and it wraps around the device. That forces you to take out the port cover or smartphone adapter, which is probably a bit of disadvantage. The advantage is that it is possible to use wireless module with this accessory mount. Mount itself is in a bit of a strange position on the back of device, so it won't be suitable for every mounting option. There is one probably better alternative, and I will show you that later. Another accessory that we will take a look at are the filters. At the moment I am using Polar Pro filters, I have all three Cinema Series collections, which is the higher grade of Osmo Pocket filters. I have the shutter collection, which consists of ND4, ND8 and ND16 filters, the Vivid collection, these are also ND4, ND8 and 16 filters, but combined with circular polarizer, and then I have the Limited collection, and these are ND32 and ND64 filters with and without circular polarizer. ND filters are basically used to lower your shutter speed, so that it equals double the frame rate. The reason why you might want to do this is that it creates the right amount of motion blur which is associated with cinematic look, so we can say that it makes your footage look more classy. Polar Pro has a very useful app for calculating which filter you should use based on automatic settings. Here my shutter speed without ND filter was 1 4000th of a second, I was shooting 4K 60p, so I wanted 1 120th of the second shutter speed, so I have used ND32 filter. Polarizing filters are also very useful, these are mostly used for increasing the saturation and revealing the details in certain parts of the frame, mainly the sky, and also for cutting the reflection from specific surfaces, such as the water surface. I really like using polarizers on any type of device, including the Osmo Pocket, because I really like that vivid and saturated look of the sky. The optical performance of these filters is great, I don't really see any decrease in image quality, 
The build quality of these filters is also great. They are very easy to install thanks to magnetic connection. And I also like copper scheme of Polar Pro filters. These come in very practical rubberized case for easier manipulation, although handling any Osmo Pocket filters requires a bit of practice. For carrying Osmo Pocket with accessories, I use this Belamont two-layer organizer by Becksmart. It is very nicely made, the material is nice, and it has a ton of compartments for the Osmo Pocket and other accessories. So in this case, I usually carry the Osmo Pocket in included case, the controller wheel and Wi-Fi adapter, and one of the mounts, which is usually the tripod mount by Polar Pro. I also carry one or two filter cases here. There is still plenty of room left, so I use that for GoPro, SD cards, batteries, cables, power bank and other stuff. Organizer like this is in my opinion very practical and very useful accessory for traveling, so I use this one a lot. Regarding the mounting options, besides the original accessory mount by DJI, I also use three Polar Pro mounts. The first and probably my most favorite one is tripod mount. It provides two quarter inch mounts, one on the bottom and one on the side, and you can use these to attach the Osmo Pocket to anything with quarter inch thread. The fitment is very good, there is a ledge that locks it in place. It also works with controller wheel, which is an advantage over DJI mount, and the USB-C port on the bottom is also accessible. That means that this will be perfect solution for setup with external mic once the 3.5mm adapter will be available. This advantage is that it doesn't work with wireless adapter. The second mount that I use is GoPro mount by Polar Pro. The advantage of this mount is that it has three mounting points and one of these is on the bottom part, which is more natural placement in my opinion. Two more mounts are on the upper part, so we have a ton of options with this one. The fitment is also very good and very secure, so it definitely won't fall out. This advantage is that it is not compatible with the controller wheel and Wi-Fi adapter, but a quarter inch mount is still accessible. The last mount that I use is Wi-Fi tripod adapter. It provides quarter inch mount on the bottom side and it also has Arca rail. It only works with Wi-Fi adapter, the fitment is again very secure, there is a path through for USB-C so you can charge the device while using it. Arca rail enables you to mount it on the standard tripod plate, which is great because I use Arca plates for everything. This mount is especially useful for time lapses. So these are the four mounts that I use. Every mount is suitable for different situation. So if you want to be able to mount the Osmo Pocket literally anywhere, you probably need all four mounts. But if you have all of these, it will definitely give you a ton of creative options. For example, Joby makes a suction cup and clamp mount that come with both quarter inch thread and GoPro mount. So these are some options that you can use with Polar Pro tripod mount or one of the GoPro mounts to get interesting angles or to use the Osmo Pocket a bit like the GoPro. Joby is also famous for their Gorilla Pods. These can also be wrapped around things or you can use it for vlogging to hold the Osmo Pocket a bit further from your face. Personally, I prefer using Manfrotto Pixie because that has very good ball head and it is much easier to handle and set up. This is the Evo version, but the regular version would be sufficient for Osmo Pocket. Tripod adapter allows me to mount the Osmo Pocket on regular tripod with Arca head, so I mostly use it with my favorite travel tripod, Zome 699C. This is the carbon fiber version, but it is still quite affordable, it is very light and it can be collapsed into a very small package. It is also suitable for mirrorless cameras like the GH5 or A7 Mark III, so this is in my opinion great accessory for filmmaking. Osmo Pocket can also shoot raw stills, so I edit those in my favorite photo editing software Luminar 3, which works great. It is very user friendly, it has great presets and a lot of creative tools. I have made a couple of videos about why I use Luminar and I will link those in the description. From firmware 1.04, Osmo Pocket can also shoot video in DCN-like profile. I generally edit all of my videos in Premiere Pro, which of course works well with MOV or MP4 files from the Osmo Pocket. Now it also has very good options for color grading, including the HSL tab. Color grading this cine like footage is pretty simple. It is done just in a couple of steps. I have shown that in video about Osmo Pocket firmware update and it will also be linked in the description. 
I'm also still waiting for three original accessories from DJI. The first and very important one is 3.5mm headphone adapter, which will enable using Osmo Pocket with external microphone, so I really hope that it will be available soon. The second accessory that I am waiting for is the charging case. I'm not sure how practical it will be, but it looks super cool, so I will probably get it just for that rotating door. The third original accessory that I am waiting for is the waterproof case. It should be good for 60 meter depth and I really hope that it will be available before the summer because I would really like to use that one in the sea. So these were my most favorite Osmo Pocket accessories at the moment. I would say that the most important accessories are the expansion kit, one set of the filters, probably the Polar Pro Vivid collection and the tripod mount. These are probably must-have accessories in my opinion, but that also depends on how do you intend to use your Osmo Pocket. I have more accessories on the way, so there will definitely be part 2 of this video, so stay tuned, and I am looking forward to making more Osmo Pocket related content. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.